guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials on Mondays and Wednesdays, and on Fridays we do fabulous drag looks, Hainis, because Fridays are a drag. In today's video, we're gonna not do makeup, because we're going to revisit my old makeup looks before YouTube channel, so we're going to be roasting myself. I took that idea from Victoria Wondersnatch, who is my friend on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel in the description box. So if you guys are interested to see me roast myself, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell, so YouTube notifies you of all new videos I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live almost every Monday. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below, as well as my Patreon group. So like, comment, subscribe, it really helps with the algorithm. So let's get right into this video. So I was fishing for my old looks because I've watched Victoria Wondersnatch and she's a fabulous, fabulous drag queen. She's got the most insane looks you can imagine. She's so creative and she always puts all the small details in her looks. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a drag queen from the chest up. I don't have drag outfits because obviously I don't perform. I want to get something but you know it takes kind of time to accumulate stuff. But she's like full from head to toe beautiful drag everything well thought out everything well put together uh the link to her channel is gonna be up here you gotta check her out if you guys don't know her you should know her so uh yeah she was by the way in a rock'em sakura video too rock'em sakura uh put me her and another person like we did her look you know Anyway, long story short, Wondersnatch did uh, a roast in her old looks video and I think I can do it even better because I found such old looks, I mean old. And this, we're not talking about creative looks because before YouTube I had no reason to uh, do anything really, really outrageous except for maybe like Halloween or New Year's, you know, something like that. But the pictures I'm going to show you is what my makeup looked like before. Especially the eyebrows, you can you gotta see the eyebrows. So let's go back to 20, uh, 2009. Uh, I was trying to find older pictures, but you know, it's hard to find, especially on the phone. If pictures get uh, old and get deleted, I don't know. But if when you go to YouTube, if when you go to Facebook, Facebook's got it all. Facebook is creepy as hell. They got all, they got the stuff that you probably don't want to see anymore. <laughs> So I went through Facebook albums and I found some real old stuff. So the oldest album on Facebook was this. I'm going to sort this picture here. So this is from 2009 when we lived in Florida and I was doing modeling. And I, I looked at it and I said, oh, I, I was bad. I used tanning pads and I used the sun. It was bad. And self tanner too. I mean, it was all kind of tan on top of tan. So I did some modeling and I did these pictures for like for modeling portfolio, but they're not like that great, you know, they just like a little bit too uh, well posed, you know what I mean? But at the time I was like, I'm a model. So uh, the, it was done by a semi-professional photographer, I think. The guy was really cool, but you know, I, I don't think it was like a really editorial model, modeling stuff. But anyway, regardless, uh, I'm posing here in my own makeup, of course, and it's like a little bit of a lipstick here. Um, the eyeshadow is my typical eyeshadow, like a little bit of smoky eye, and <laughs> very, very, very lacking eyebrows, like very, very lacking. When you see this, this is the, when I already had eyebrow tattoo. I got my eyebrow permanent makeup in like first set 2003 four something like that or maybe even two i mean my eyebrows are always so thin so they're almost not there so i wanted to get a tattoo and i got a tattoo i literally got a tattoo like a line but at the time was better than nothing and at the time was happy i have something especially for my line of work i'm a fitness instructor i was a fitness instructor and from sweating you would like lose eyebrows and at the end of the class i would have like awful eyebrows almost nothing so i needed something that would be there so that was 
very convenient at the time. But yeah, as you can see, the real uh, lacking that's like, faded already in my first set of tattoos, like bye bye. And I wasn't even good at uh, coloring them in. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the face makeup is fine, but you know what this is? This is like a bunch of powders, you know, just like a little bit of concealer blended and a little bit of um, setting powder or like a finishing powder. I wasn't even using any liquid foundation. That's pretty much me. That's it. So and then we're going to 2011 look and this is from my birthday party. And this is still in Florida. We left Florida in 2012, I think. There was two, at the end of 2011. 2011 uh, April, I was still in Florida. So this is a way more uh, out there look because I was going to lips. Lips is a drag show in Florida. It's a chain. Uh, there is lips in Florida, Atlanta, uh, like Miami, Atlanta. Then there is one in uh, New York and one San Diego. Uh, I have been to all of them except for San Diego. So San Diego is next. Anyway, so I use the eyelashes for this look. Uh, I'm wearing my crown. This is from actually from the lips. My husband took this picture. Um, I'm wearing a lot of small smoky eyeshadow, a lot of white highlighter. If you notice the highlighters from here almost all the way to here, literally all the way to here, and all the way here too. I need it to be lit. I always thought my deep dark, deep dark holes, so they call them, my under eye circles, like the deep corners I wanted to highlight them and instead of using concealer I literally used highlighter <laughs> I mean in pictures you can't really tell except it's really white and shiny I'm roasting myself I promise to roast and I'm roasting I'm wearing my fake extensions which actually look very nice and decent my friend who is a hairdresser we did each other's hair she actually styled my extensions for that birthday party it was nice she was there too uh, the lips look nice, nice and pale, you know, pale lips always make your lip look bigger. So I'm not mad at my face makeup, there's not much. At the time, like I said, I never did any foundation. I would just blend out concealer and use some finishing powders and some bronzer. I never liked blush at the time, I just put a lot of bronzer and finishing powder. And highlight was not a thing at the time. I don't think 2011 we highlighted anything, but it looks cute. A little, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's 2011. Now I'll go to 2012. We went to Istanbul. Uh, we started to travel. My husband is a pilot, so uh, he had different contracts, different uh, arrangements. This was a plane in Istanbul, and that was an adventure of the life. I'll never regret it. It didn't go well at the end, but, <laughs> but it was fun. So this is my makeup in Istanbul. Pretty much same thing. I like that smoky eye. I can look back and oh yeah, by the way, all of the smoky eyes, they're all done with the sponge applicators that you'll find in eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I'll, I use those applicators like nobody's business and you cannot even tell it was done with applicators. I mean, it's not perfect, but it, it was done. And again, highlight is all the way from here to here. Highlight is in the inner corner. I've got some silver in the waterline and Pretty much smoky eye. It's very decent. There's no eyelashes, but I, I never usually wear eyelashes like day to day. Except now I do wear eyelashes, but smaller. But back then I didn't wear eyelashes unless it's I'm going like to a drag show. The eyebrows look more decent shape wise, but still, it's a very thin. Why am I showing this to you? It's gonna be up here. It's a thin line, you know, and it's a second set of tattoo. At this point, I had a second one. I think, I think I had it done again and uh, it was the same thing just a lie so the same deal is going on just a little powder on the face and a little bit of lip gloss but it looks cute it's not bad so then we're going to 2013 and this is like a real effort here and please don't laugh my husband's gonna hate me and I'll put his face for it but this is Halloween Halloween I made four people in drag I put four people in drag me, my friends, TJ and Grahive, that lived in the same uh, floor of apartment building in Atlanta. We were in Atlanta after Istanbul. So I put them in drag. As I was getting drunk, they were giving me drinks. 
my makeup skills were not as superb. At the time, I thought I was the SHIT and nobody could touch me. And they loved it too, but yeah, looking back, look at his face. Oh, look at that furry face. There's not much going on. <laughs> the schnoz looks pretty pathetic. The eyes don't look that bad, but it looks like my eyes pretty much. Everybody looks like my eyes and my, and my eyebrows too. <laughs> The same kind of line. Oh, poor dear, dear. My makeup looks a little better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Smoky eye, I see some crease here. It wasn't like a real cut crease, but it was like a fake cut crease, I would say. And there are definitely eyelashes involved in all of our looks. I think all of them got eyelashes. And my husband did his lips himself because he said, I don't like uh, overlined lips, they don't look natural. I mean, we're going for Halloween as drag queens. What natural is about that? But you know, to each their own and she went very subtle with the lips. So that's uh, in costume and everything. Well, he was wearing my dress and I was wearing the actual Halloween costume. Oh, there's another 2013, by the way. This is me and Wendy. I mean, I had to put this as a proud moment that Wendy had been a big fan for a long, long time, for years. I watched her show from the very beginning. So when we lived in Atlanta, she came to sign her book and I got her book, Ask Wendy book. And she signed a copy for everybody at a bookstore. We went uh, in, I think it was in Buckhead, went to a bookstore and it was in the middle of the day and I wore a tiny dress. She picked me for Ask Wendy a question. It was the best time ever. This is the one time I was picked for the Ask Wendy. When I went to the show in New York, they never picked me, okay? But anyway, uh, I don't remember what the question was. Something scandalous, uh, half true, half exaggerated anyway. But she looked at me and she says, if I find that video, I'm going to insert it here. I swear to you, I'm going to insert that little video where she's telling me, what are you doing in the middle of the day? in a mini dress like that. You are my people. And I was like, yes! Wendy called me her people. Elena, <laughs> you are my people. <laughs> but what if they told you <laughs> that you look too hot for a sophisticated woman like you in, in the middle of the day in the bookstore? <laughs> oh, Wendy, I love you. Anyway, we have the same thing in common. We have a lack of makeup skills skills and a pink lipstick both of us <laughs> so yeah uh it's the same thing going on a little smoky eye and a little a lip pink lip gloss and uh oh, they look cute actually that's not bad the eyebrows look bad but that look cute the hair is a little fried looking but you know i probably just taught a class in the morning and i went to book signing after the uh, teaching the class so excuse my sweat do sweaty hair dude now we're going to 2014 november 2014 and this is from a wendy williams show that when we moved from atlanta to new york so me being a stalker that i am i went right to the wendy show after i went to a book signing in atlanta <laughs> if she only knew i was stalking her no i'm just kidding anyway uh we we moved to new york the first thing i did like i didn't have a job yet let me go to the Wendy show almost every week in the morning, early in the morning. I was standing in line there in the cold and any weather. The staff knew me. They would always give me uh, good seats, give me uh, close-ups during the show. And this looks cute-ish, but the eyebrows, though, look at the eyebrows. The wig is cute. I, I was really into wigs. I went to Jamaica. I have, if you're in New York and you know Jamaica, we lived in Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica app is like the mecca of wigs every corner street corner has a wig shop and i went crazy for the wigs over there they're all cheap they're all synthetic but they're all fabulous so this is one of those jamaica avenue wigs and uh the eyebrows do the color look at the color <laughs> i really penciled them in with a brown i was like whoop whoop that's the eyebrow for you <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they never picked me for Ask Wendy segment. All you see is the blonde wig and the black eyebrows. <laughs> well, not a black. They didn't look that dark that you sent this picture. But anyway, it was like a grayish blue eyeshadow and really dark eyebrows. 
Yep, and uh, I bet there was no foundation involved. I don't remember, but I think I don't think I wore foundation. It was the same thing going on: finishing powders, some bronzer, and the pink lipstick. That's my signature. Yep, the roast is happening, people. The roast is happening. Uh, let's see if I got any 2015 here. I don't think I have 2015. I think I, I'm jumping right to 2016. So 2016. This is a typical gym picture. 2016 i think it was still in new york is one of the places i taught so maybe i was teaching i probably took a shower i put some makeup on and i took a selfie yeah so that's why my hair looks a little freezy because i was sweating but the makeup looks cute it's a little washed out picture but it's the same thing going on as usual not much of the face all in the eyes and uh, the eyebrows in the same shape the shape isn't bad but yeah I was working that tattoo and drawing that dark brown pencil right over it. But, you know, to be honest, I had no choice. Like, I would have to either block them with a the concealer, which I didn't know how to do at the moment, and also didn't have time for it because I was working in the gyms. And now I have all the time to sit here for hours and do makeup. <laughs> anyway, so that's 2016. And now we got 2018. I remember, yeah. I remember this was 2018. I think this was the, the drag con. 2018. I think we were in New York and I went to the drag con. I'm pretty sure. So you can see there is like a little bit. I use some kind of uh, sparkly filter here. But you can tell the makeup is way more fancy. So you got some eyeshadow blending. Definitely using makeup brushes at this point. The highlight is still not much from here to here. Look at the amount of highlight I have here. I got two millimeters and look at the amount of highlight over there. <laughs> I just keep looking, it's so funny, you know, to see how you used to do makeup, how you do makeup now. Uh, the eyelashes look okay. I mean, not the best placement, but you know, at the time I was like, girl, I look just like them, all drag queens. I'm in full drag. I got a lot of compliments from queens, to be honest, but yeah, the makeup skills are not the same. And now we go into 2019, and this is my birthday for sure. April 7, 2019. Well, my birthday is April 5th, but April 7th was uh, when we went to the show. And you can tell because I'm wearing a crown that clearly went lips New York again. And this was before we moved to uh, Los Angeles, actually. That's pre pretty much the last birthday in New York. You know, it gives me nostalgia. I just got so, like a kind of a thing, you know, like a like an ache in the heart because <laughs> I miss New York so much. So this was the last time that I spent in New York. Oh. Anyway, 2019, last birthday in New York. The same pink wig I still wear. I love that wig. The makeup looks much better. Very similar to the previous picture. Uh, but you can tell I used the brushes and the highlight a little more blended with the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is going up a little more. I mean, not bad. And the eyebrow looks better. Look, the eyebrow is much lighter. I keep showing you the phone as if you're going to be looking at my phone. The screenshot is up here. The eyebrow looks way, way better here. And the color looks lighter. I don't know. I'm not a remember. I don't remember what I was using there. I think I started to use a little bit more of like a feeling with the eyeshadow with a little bit of like a gel something I was using the point that look a little more natural and I was blocking the ends to lift them up I already started to do that at that point you can see the progress so that was 2019 and this is the last picture before I start YouTube that's why I probably didn't pick any others so this is all that's all you got for you people you can see my rest the rest of my pictures throughout the YouTube videos you can see what I look like in the beginning of YouTube. I'm probably going to insert a couple of pictures here right now from the beginning of my YouTube uh, channel when I just started. I just started as soon as we moved to Los Angeles pretty much. We moved in July 2019 and I started doing YouTube in August. So you'll see some of the pictures I'm going to insert here. They still look a little bit like the ones I was showing you but more evolved. So as you evolve in YouTube, if you ever do Instagram or YouTube, you start getting more creative because you can just do a little bit of eyeshadow in the outer corner, a little bit of mascara. You know, it's like you get more creative juices going. 
So I I'm glad I started YouTube because it really improved my makeup skills and I found I found the passion that I always had for makeup and it actually gave me an outlet and made me realize I really want to pursue that even more. So let me know what you think and let me know what your makeup looks like what my your makeup looks looked like 10 years ago or like my pictures went back to 12 years ago 29 2009 yeah, 12 years ago so i'm going to tag two people in this video let's make it a tag you know maybe i'll catch what if it's gonna catch you know roasting my old looks i bet that already happened people have been doing this but let me tag my friends my good judies i call them Teresa Mulhorn and Missa from Make Me Up Missa. If you're watching this video, I know you've been busy, you, you might not watch this, but I'm gonna tag you. Do a roast for your old looks. Find some old pictures and post them and see what you look like before. Before you start a YouTube channel, like let's really see what you did before. Huh? <laughs> I'm curious. So let me know what you think, leave me a comment below, let me know what your makeup uh, history, what your makeup progress is right now, or has been, or maybe you're just not interested in this. <laughs> so leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, to ring notification bell so you remember I still exist and my videos pop up in your feed. So follow me on social media, all the links are down below. Huge thank you to all my patrons. Thank you guys so much for your support. The link to my Patreon group is also down in the description box. So thank you all for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!